What's up, everybody? Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn um, any image into a halftone image uh, for printing or just a general. Uh, I'm going to be using Photoshop today. And this is the image we're going to be using right here. Let me use Mr. Satan Man. Mr. Satan. <laughs> All right, so this is the image we're going to be using today. It's uh, Mr. Satan. So, do we're going to go to Photoshop. And to start, we're gonna go new. We'll go, I'm gonna set it up for 11 by 14. You can adjust it to whatever uh, width and height. Um, this is what I print at usually. Um, so that's what I'm gonna set it at. Uh, Inspect. And then or orientation, we're going to set that for a portrait. Um, resolution, make sure that's set to 300 pixels. Uh, pixels and inches is what we're going to be using. Uh, make sure you're using RBG color, 8-bit, uh, white, and then we're going to push. Uh, it's going to be a white background. And then go ahead and push uh, create. All right. Now go back, find your file, whatever file you're gonna be using. The one we're gonna be using is this one. You drop that in there. Boom. Okay. And let's, I'm gonna resize that. Yeah, I kind of want a little bit bigger. Okay, so grab your file, drop it in. Okay, so it's in the middle. Let's drop it in. So this is the file we'll be working with. I'm just gonna go ahead and come over here. And we're gonna rasterize the layer. All right, right click, come over here. Right click at the top. Go to move to window. Uh, move to new window <laughs> and then uh, duplicate and then this is what the name of the new document is going to be called you can name it whatever uh, and then uh, this is going to be unchecked don't click that and then push ok alright so it created a copy so now you're going to drag the copy and the document just straight down back into Photoshop. All right. So this is the copy. We're going to move over to the original. And from here, we're going to right click, come down here um, in the layers, right click, go over to blending options. 
come down to color overlay and I already have it set but you're gonna set yours to white so if it's it'll probably be set to gray um, just move it over to white and push OK 100% um, and then push OK and it's gonna turn the document this is without the cover color overlay. This is with the white overlay. So now we're done with that one. We're going to come to the second one. Right click, um, go to your layers, right click. We're going to flatten the image. From there, we're going to come up to image adjustments. We're going to go to levels. And we're going to adjust this marker right here. This is what going to uh, this is going to make your blacks really black. So we're going to try to uh, move it over. So we get them really dark. All right. Uh, not that's too much. That's too much. Uh, about right. Do it. And then this one's going to be our white. We're going to move that over. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do it. And then push okay. All right. After that, we'll go back up to image and we're gonna change it to CMYK color. Push okay. Next, come over to channels. We're gonna split the channels. Right now we're on the black copy. It should usually take you to the black copy. This is the one we're gonna start working with. Um, we're gonna go up to image mode, bitmap. We're gonna set the output to 300. Your pixels, um, your pixels, and set. Uh, You know what? That might have been my issue. We're going to set the uh, output to 300 and then pixels and inches. Um, and then we're going to do for the method, we're going to use half tone screen. So just make sure you select that um, half tone screen, 300 output pixels and inches and then push OK. So frequency, this is going to be the size of our dots. Anywhere from 35 to 50 should work. Um, we're going to use lines and inches and then uh, for the angle, we're going to use 45 and then we're going to push OK and then you'll see that. Next, we'll go back up to image mode, grayscale, push OK. All right, so we're going to go back. Uh, actually, go color range. So we're going to go to select and then color range. And I'm going to zoom all the way in. You don't have to zoom in, but just try to find some black on the image. And then as far as your fuzziness will probably be set like at 100 we're going to move it all the way over to 200 and then push ok i'm going to zoom out so you guys can see what i did and as you can see everything is selected so next we're going to go control x go back to our original document this is the original one we have a couple other overlay of, so on this one we're gonna paste our uh there we 
we go. Right, so we're gonna paste our document in there just like that. And this layer we're gonna name black. Alright. And once you do that, you could just close the close it. So now you'll see someone says yellow. I'm going to go up to the image, mode, bitmap. Um, our output's going to be 300 pixels, inches, uh, half-tone half screen, and then push OK. And frequency is going to be the same, 45 lines and inches, and degree this time is going to be zero. And then push OK. And now we'll go image, mode. Grayscale, push OK. Now we'll go back up to image again and change it to RBG color. All right. Next, we'll go up to select color range. And you're going to find some black on the image. You can tell if you select the block right here. Um, so, push OK. I'm going to move this back over there. Hopefully. Okay, so, we got to select it. Same thing. We're going to go up to edit. Fill. And we're going to select color. Make sure you click on it. And we're going to change everything to zero except for yellow. We're going to set it to 100. And push OK. And then push OK again. All right. Next, go Control X. over to your first document same thing I'm gonna paste this one on top you will name this yellow close that one we're almost halfway right, so same thing we're gonna go over to your magenta, um, magenta copy. Go up to your image mode. Change it to bitmap. Three hundred pixels and inches, half tone screen, same thing. All right, frequency is gonna be the same. This time we're gonna change it to twenty five. And then push OK. Next, grayscale one, there we go. Image again, mode, and then RBG color. All right. And then we're gonna go select color range. Try to find black. Lost. Sure we got it bro. all right then same thing fuzziness is gonna be 200 and push ok and then we'll go up to edit fill color and change that to zero and this time we're gonna change the agenda to 100 and push ok 
and then again. I'll zoom out so you guys can see. So, control X. Over to our original. And we're going to paste it. V. And name it Magenta. Coming together, it's coming together. Right, so close that. All right, so we're next, we're at the side and copy. We're gonna go up to image mode bitmap, output 300 pixels in inches. Um, and then half tone screen is the method. Push OK. 45 is frequency, lines, inches. And then our angle, we're going to use uh, 75. For sign. Push OK. Right. Image mode, grayscale, one. Push OK. Mode. All right, so go up to image again and then mode. <laughs> The RBG color. The push OK. Right. And then select color range. Got to find some black. You can see it right there too. Make sure your fuzziness is 200. Push OK. I'll zoom back out. We go edit, fill, color, and then this to zero. Sign to a hundred. Push OK. And color OK. Oh, control X. And let's go this back. We need to close that right now. I shouldn't have done that, but we'll do it. This one and sign. And so here's how the match happens. So got our image, start here. We're gonna come over here to our layers and we're gonna go to multiply on black, on yellow, and the same thing. Multiply magenta. Multiply and on cyan multiply. <laughs> and then there we go. So this is how you would have to own an image. Um and also separate each uh each color, um each color channel or each CMYK color for each layer. We zoom in. This is what the image would look like. Half tone. Mom. A little slow. Let's actually just do it. So this is the half tone image right there. And as you see if I want to remove black from the image, I do that. 
This is also our white base, so if you want to see it without the white base, it's right there. Okay, so this is a half tone that I've already done um, as well. As you guys can see, half tone. So, and same thing, it's separated into each, each individual color. So, one of the cool things about this is if you're you doing for printing, this layer right here is your is your basically your T-shirt. So if you want to, if you have a black t-shirt, um, you can see what it looks like on black. If you're going to be using, say, a, uh, a white t-shirt, you can change the thing by going um, Shift F5. And then coming come up here to, well, you can go up here color and then you can change it to any color you want so if you want to sign a shirt and push ok that's what it'll look like on a sign shirt if you want to change it to uh, to a white shirt do white but that's that's the cool part about this this the way the way this uh this method you're, you can, uh, th that's the cool part about this method. You can see what your shirt, what your prints will look like on any color material um, by using by using this as your background layer. And then also with the four color separations, you can see, you can see everything. So, all right guys. So that's that's pretty much that's it. That's how you have to own uh, any any image in Photoshop um, for 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 printing for GTF printing for screen printing, um, all that good stuff. So hit me up, guys. If you guys have any questions, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for thanks for watching. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.